and welcome back to my channel everyone and another video and we're at another competition surprise surprise so this is the third week in a row <laughs> so uh yeah my she went on the float pretty well actually so i think she's getting into the groove of it and uh yeah so we're here for at the same grounds as we were at for the last competition at the, at the um, grounds with the rubber compound surface but this time we are here for the riding club so this is the first event for the riding club for the year um, and they're running a dressage competition. So right up my alley um, and we do lots of instruction down here as well. Uh, but yeah, today competition time. So let's see how we go. I've got mum here helping so she'll do my filming for me as usual which I really appreciate. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get Bella saddled up so we're on at 9.30 so not too early a start. I've just um, gone and checked in and on my way back to the float and uh, here's Miss Belly looking gorgeous. We didn't have to plait but I plaited her up again so she's been plaited three weeks in a row. I don't know that she's too impressed with that but uh, yeah here she is my gorgeous girl. So what are we going to do today Belle? What do you reckon? 70%? <laughs> Should we aim really high? Um, I don't know I'll be happy with my 65 again I think. And yeah, so we'll see how we go. Next time you see us, I'll be up in the saddle and ready to enter a day. Okay, Maria's warming up at the Southern Fluio Riding Club Dressage Day. And we enter the arena at A and I don't know why the camera was doing funny things here but anyway it gets better there you go it's better now so um, here we are enter at A up the center line and this is the prep one so we don't halt for this one you'd come from a trot into a walk um, which is really hard but anyway uh, we got a score of seven and we got straight entry calm transition so I'd been really practicing on that trot to walk and keeping her active and moving forward. Um, and that paid off. So pick up the trot at M, which she did not too bad. We had a little bit of head resistance, but it was pretty good. So we got a seven and straight, which is nice. Um, and then we head on down to do a circle at A, a 20 meter circle at A. And here she softened really nicely. I was so happy with this. And up, up a little bit, but not too bad. And we got a seven for the circle and no comment. So I was trying to really push her into the corners. And then I get a little resistance when I do that. But I was mindful to actually ride the test rather than just go in and try and remember it and just get it over with i really want to start riding it properly so um uh, change the rain there we got a seven with no comment and this bit here she's normally um not flexing properly but i felt like she actually went into that really nicely this week and yeah, she wants to take the rain a little bit there, which is nice. So that circle at C, the 20 meter circle at C, we got a seven and a comment of obedient. And then down to walk, which was actually a nice downward transition. And keeping it, I was really conscious to keep it active because the week before we had got comments of needs more activity, which we hadn't had that for a while. So I've been practicing that. So our transition and our medium walk, we got a 6.5. And then the change the rain on a free work walk, we got an eight. I love seeing the eights on the sheet. So that's an eight out of 10 for that walk. And the comment, which I was really pleased about, was active, good stretch. So it's quite a long, long rain walk there all the way across the arena. And then we pick up the reins 
and try and keep her moving and do a little half circle here to get up the center line. So there's a lot going on in that moment. It's collecting the reins, it's trying to get the bend in this little 10 meter half circle to get up the center line and then to be straight and bang on the center line. Um, but anyway, we've managed to get it all coming together and we got a seven for that medium walk and the turn down the center line. And then for the halt and salute, which she was resistant into, we're still working on that. But she was relatively square and she stood still and paid attention. So we got a seven for that and a comment of obedient. So the collective marks on the back. So for the paces, we got a seven. Impulsion, we got a seven. And submission, we got a seven. And my rider position, we also got a seven. So that was pretty consistent across the board there. Um, and the comment that we got was calm, obedient, test. So that was really nice. I was very pleased with Bella for that one. So she's getting more and more consistent, which is nice. And we're getting a bit less of the, of the head, um, of her resisting, putting her head up and hollowing out. So it's good. It's all starting to come together. So it was a quick turnaround into the next test. So the next clip will just jump straight on into the prep two. And here we go with the prep two. And once again, for some reason, the camera's gone a bit funny and a bit hazy, but it does get better, so bear with us. It's like I've put a filter on it, isn't it? So there we are presenting to the judge. And then we make our way down. So there weren't as many rings going this time. It was um, just the two rings. They didn't have as, quite as many entries. But in my particular class, there was more entries than there was the week before, if that makes sense. So I think there was about six of us in the class. So I was a little bit anxious going in because I'd done so well for the last two previous weeks. I really, really wanted to do well today as well. Um, but, you know, you've got to try and curb that anxiety and those nerves because that goes through to the horse. So it was just put on a smile and do the very best we could. So here we are about to enter again. So we're in the same arena with the same judge. And this time I was really conscious to go, come on, Belle, let's do this. Let's nail it. A really good trot down the centre line, really straight and a good halt without that head coming up. And it was not too bad. We contained it. And so for that entry, uh, we got a seven and again, a comment of obedient. And she went off into the trot nicely. So up here we turn left. And as you know, left rein is not a strong suit, but she did that really nicely around that bend there. So that is really starting to come together. And here we do our 20 meter circle at E, which is in the middle of the arena. So I've been working on the size and shape of these circles, trying to get that right. So for that track left at C and then the trot H and E, we got a seven. And for this first circle, we got a 6.5. So I'm thinking maybe I didn't get the size of it right, but the comment was nice rhythm. So the fact that we got a 6.5, but we got a good comment means to me that I didn't get the size of the circle correct. So then we drop down to walk, which get this, are we ready? We got a, oh, we got a seven for the medium walk here. And then we got free walk on a long rein across the arena to E. So it's only a short free walk. And we got an eight again with a comment of good stretch. And she did. She really was walking out nicely here. And then we collect up the reins, which she did really well. And here I've got my inside leg on and I'm just really trying to keep her. There we go. She flexed a little, you know, bent a little bit. So keep her straight, but still bending to the inside. And so for that medium walk, we got another eight. Up into trot. 
and for that working trot rising around the arena there and down to B we got another eight <laughs> so the eights were coming which is very very exciting and here we do our another 20 meter circle which the circle to the right we got a seven and she was a bit more consistent in the contact here and moving forward actually yeah she worked really well really well through here and I got a cramp in my inside leg in my calf which I'll talk about a bit later on but oh my gosh that was painful so I was having to push through here I still got cramp in my calf <laughs> and I got to try and bend her around that inside leg and uh, do a nice turn and look up the center line um, and I think we did a good, yes, we did do a good center line. So we got an eight, another eight for the center line. And here keeping her head nice. Yep, she didn't come up too much. And I've got a comment of nice halt. So big, big, big pats for Belle. I was so, so pleased. This was probably one of the best tests, I reckon. Um, she just felt really with me. And it was just really, really good. Loving it. So the scores on the back, we got paces, a seven, impulsion, a seven, submission, wait for it, we got a 6.5. So, uh, sorry, 7.5, uh, which they double that score. So that, um, that was really good. Um, so submission is attention, harmony, confidence, acceptance of, acceptance of the bit. And then my rider position, are we ready? We need a drum roll. Drrr, I got an eight. And again, that score gets doubled. So that was amazing. And the comment was calm, obedient test, horse and rider in harmony. Oh, it's just chuffed, amazing, so good. All right, so that's both the tests done. Just unsaddling Belle now. Um, I was really, really happy with both tests. Um, the first one probably wasn't, she was nicely forward, but she probably wasn't as consistent in the contact. Um, and I was mainly working on, on suppleness and getting her to bend, because that seems to be the comment that we're getting all the time. So um, therefore she was probably a bit more resistant with her head up. But the second one, I was really trying to push her forward. I did end up with cramp in my calf, which was a bit painful. But anyway, we pushed through that. And uh, yeah, so not sure what the scores will be. We have to do score predict mum. Mum says 66, I reckon 65 for the first one and maybe a bit more for the second one. It'd be interesting to see actually because the second one felt better yeah, but, but the second test doesn't flow quite as good as the first. Um, anyway, I was really um, conscious of my getting my 20 metre circles the right size so I feel like hopefully there's either no comment comment for that um, hopefully I got that right I'm just gonna pop this saddle away and uh, then we're gonna take um, yeah take Bella over for a a bit of a wash off what do you reckon Belly some carrot for you give you a big drink and take those plaids out you don't have to be plaited for a little bit now you've been plaited three weeks in a row you poor little darling but yeah she's a bit tired so she'll have a nice rest. Hey, okay. have a bit of a rest. We've also got um, a lady called Jo here who did our bit fitting for us. So I'm gonna catch up with Jo and just talk about feeds. So she works for Benchmark Feeds and I've had um, Bella on the Super Fibre Mash for, I've done sort of two bags of that now. So that's been for quite a couple of months. And um, yeah, so now I think we need to maybe introduce something with a bit more protein for her because she's really starting to build up some muscle chat with Joe. It's so fabulous to um, meet all these wonderful people. Um, I did also have Bella's teeth done uh, which was last Monday. So after the competition last week um, on the Monday I had a lovely lady called Kim. I um, can't remember her surname, it's gone out of my head. Kim Cooper. So if you're in South Australia, Kim Cooper, she was amazing. She was wonderful with the horses. She was so um, calm and um, really attentive and she doesn't use the power tools she uses hand tools and no sedation so I was very very happy with that um, I have had the vet come out previous and she's been really good too but I do feel when they sedate them and use the power tools, sometimes um, 
I don't know, it seems a bit harsh to me anyway. And I don't think Bella really likes it. I don't think she likes that feeling of the sedation. So both the horses were great. Bella did have some sharp teeth and some ulcer ulcering on the inside of her mouth. Um, so those ulcers should have really cleared up by now. And I did have a special mouthwash to um, syringe up into her mouth, which I've done all this week. And yeah, she's feeling much better, much happier to carry the bit. And um, I might get her done a bit more regular. They do say you should have them done every 12 months. But I feel with Bella, by the time the 12 months comes round, it's, um, she's already sharp and got ulcers. So we might do her in six months, I think. And Colm will be all right for 12 months. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get onto it before it gets to that point. What do you reckon, Belly? Hey, keep you more comfortable? Yeah, we'll keep you more comfy. Anyway, we'll wait for the results and um, yeah, see if we've backed it up with two more blue ones. You never know, fingers crossed. You never know, hey Belle. Anyway, either way, we're winners, aren't we? We had a good day. You were a good girl. Here's Bella being a little bit worried about the wash bay. <laughs> I've actually never brought her over here before. It's all right, Belle. It's all right. It's all right. Just concrete. We're used to concrete. Does it smell funny? Does it smell funny? I mean, um, I listened to this absolutely fabulous book called um, Horse Brain, Human Brain, and it talks all about the horse's senses and how they interpret the world as opposed to how we interpret the world. It's been fascinating. So it's so important to let them sniff everything. Their sense of smell is like their most heightened sense. And I don't think we appreciate that. So this wash bay probably smells like so many other horses. And there may have even been a horse here that um, was a bit stressed and they can actually pick up on that. So yeah, fascinating. Anyway, I'll insert a little picture of the front of the book and the author. So if you're a horsey person, well, now she just wants to eat, so stress level's gone down. I'll give her a hose off. Although she didn't get too sweaty. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. You're on the hose, sweetness. You're on the hose, my sweet. Back up. One more step. Good girl. Good girl. Oh yeah. Up in here, you get all sweaty up in there, don't you? Yeah, you get a bit sore up in there too. There we are. Look at that. Gorgeous. My gorgeous girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, wow. sorry guys, it's going to be super windy um, and I haven't got my microphones, but mum's just got the results and she says that it's very exciting. I don't know what they are. So here we go, prep one. Here we go. First, 70.33 in prep one. Wonderful. Prep two, 74. Wow. Wow, and you got blue again. ribbon. Oh, awesome. So 70.3 and 74.33. Yay! That's higher than my 66 It was anyway. higher than your 66, wasn't it? So another two blue. So we've done three weeks in a row and three weeks of double blue. <laughs> Not bad. So guess what that means? It's time to step it up. I think it is. It's time to step it up into prelim, I think. We'll start working more and more on our canter. Yes. Because once we get into prelim, we'll probably go all the way back down to the bottom <laughs> and have to work our way all the way back up again. But that's okay. I've got to video this other lady. No. So here we are back at the float, belly with her ribbons on. <laughs> so two more blue ones, Belle. What a champion. So I have to get her some more. Or are you going to have to get you some more treats? I've run out of carrots. Hey. So well done, Belle. Good girl. 
two more blue ribbons. Yeah. Doesn't mean much to you, does it? You just want to have a rub. Doesn't mean much to you. But another successful outing. And um, yeah, I think, like I said before, we're going to have to start stepping it up and do a few prelim tests, go up into that next level. Take that next step. It's a big step to take, but got to start somewhere. So as you can see, Bella and I are back at home. She's all unplatted and whoops, there goes my phone. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so she's all unplatted and we're just uh, going to pop the two horses out in the back paddock, which they have not been out in the back paddock for ages and ages. So they're going to be super excited. So I'm just leading Bella over and mum is going to open Colm's gate and just let him run across because he's going to be like a racehorse. Um, he'll be very, very excited to come out. Oh, Belly, it's been a big few weeks, hasn't it, darling? So uh, yeah, so a great day, as you would have seen. The blue ribbons are plenty. Um, and I bought myself a new hat. What does everyone think of the bling bling? Put a little comment down below. <laughs> so a bit more shiny. <laughs> anyway, I got sick of seeing that yellow Nike hat and I thought it was time we get a new one. So here we go, we're nearly at the gate and she's realized what's going on. Look at those ears prick forward. Where are we going, Bill? We're out, going out in the paddock. Oh, look at that. She's a happy girl. We're going to start eating before we even get the gate open. Hey, Belle. Good girl. Oh, careful. So the gate is open. And I'll just take her head collar off. And here comes Colm. Please don't go over the arena. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. Silly sausage. Whoop, jump. And they're off. I think he enjoyed that. Look at that gorgeous green grass. I love this tree. Oh, look at that green grass. They better not be out here for too long. They'll pop. How gorgeous. What a beautiful setting. So thank you for watching another dressage competition. So we've got a little break now. I think we'll give Bella the weekend off next weekend. I'm not sure what we'll get up to, but maybe there'll be some riding involved for sure. Um, so the next one might be a farmy vlog, bit of an update. Don't know yet. You'll have to stay tuned to um, check it all out. So make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell button so that you get uh, notified when new um, vlogs are uploaded. And uh, until I see you, Again, I hope you stay safe, stay well, and remember, enjoy the little moments in life. Bye for now.